Hey. I haven't done a, I'm just gonna fucking ramble for a while, video in a long time, eh? So here I go. Y'all hear about Joe Rogan and Neil Young? Yeah. Distraction. I binge wa listened, not watched, to Neil Young for about an hour last night. Why? Because I'm not here to judge what he's doing. He's playing his part the way everybody else is. Joe Rogan's been in my awareness for a heck of a long time. I don't watch a bunch of people talking. I just have my innate knowledge and I get my sources and my tidbits where I need. Distraction, distraction, distraction. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not gonna stop loving a man and his music because he's grown into an embodiment where he's afraid. I'm gonna keep loving Neil Young the way I always have. It's not hard to understand why he's chosen to do what he's doing. My own father, who was at Woodstock at the same time as all those kind of people as Neil Young, chose the same path. He's Triple V as well. He still loves him. That was his choices. We might think we know a lot of stuff, but what we think we know, because we've researched things for a long time. I personally might look like a flake because I don't retain information and I'm not here to teach you guys anything or anybody else. But I've guided people to sources for over 15 years now about vaccines and planted the seeds. Whether people think I'm just putting up a Facebook post because everybody else is, or that I've actually done my research, again, not my circus, not my monkey. I know what I know for what I know, and that's it. I don't have an attachment to it. I do what I do for my body, and my only underage child is Lily Rose. Therefore, it's my choice to consent or not for her as well. My children over 20 are both on their second, maybe even third shot. That's their choice. I believe in the power of the healing of their body. Even if I know what is actually in the V's, I believe my children and other people are much stronger than the shit being pumped into them. That's just my way. We're here to stop judging people, letting people live how they want to live. And then we get triggered because people aren't doing what we're doing. That's not going to stop, ever. People are not going to all think the same thing and do the same things and make the same choices. Yeah. One of the common... Oh, common. Ooh, that's not the right word. One of the trends I've noticed through the tribe vibe in the last three years is that, oh my gosh, people come to you, they love you, they're ride or die, you are my bestie, we're sisters and brothers forever, and the second you fucking do or say anything that goes against their attached ego value, you are shit to them. You've shown your true colors and you are not real to them anymore. That don't make sense to me. If you've watched my streams at all, you'll see that people from all types of fucking mentalities gather there all the time. That's what we're here to do. Gather together, whether we believe in what we believe for each other or not. Universally, for the whole wide world, whether it's flat or round, whether it's a simulation, or whether it is Mama Gaia. Doesn't matter. We're here to be kind, to love each other. That's it. I've been told for like many couple, many times in the last month what love is. And it's like, okay, that's your choice of what love is. But that's not how I want to be loved and that's not what I want in my fucking life. 
Unconditional is unconditional. Right? You don't get to pick and choose and tell people what to do, how to think, what they did in the past, what you fucking think. You can say it, but does it mean? Family don't mean shit. Just because you're born into a family and somebody's your fucking brother or sister, you don't owe them anything. And this whole, like, fucking shit show of ancestral DNA through lineage after lineage of putting people down. A black sheep in the family. How does that even make sense? If you're a family, how can there be a fucking black sheep? Oh, because you get to choose who's not doing what you want them to do? So these, you know, the outcast, the misfit, the black sheep. That don't make any fucking sense anymore. We're done with it. Whether you're done or not, some of us are. I don't know if that makes sense said out loud because I'm just like flowing. I got zero attachment to my words. None. You either get it or you don't. You either came in to grab a seat of something or you're just popping in. Zero attachment. <laughs> I can look straight. I mean it, middle road, zero attachment. Going through a collective on mass awakening, souls are choosing. They've already chosen, we already chose as a soul what we're gonna do. The mind monkey and the heart is all playing it out right now. A lot of transitioning is going on and very fast. And the more that documents come out about the V and what's in it, some people are going to surrender right into sickness or just like boom, really fast, or other people are going to just harness their power. We don't get to choose. Doesn't matter who it is. We don't get to choose for anyone. But here's the thing. Divine will and free will. There's those of us here who are not of free will anymore. We're of divine will. We're following the creator within ourselves, our highest self, no matter how shame, guilted, what we're treated like, what we lose in it, don't matter. It doesn't matter. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We were born for this. And, you know, people can either pick and choose to be where they want to be in that part of our life. You know what I mean? That's it. This codependent attachment and this like, the past is in blood sticker that, what the fuck? It's done. The egos and mind monkeys are hanging on really tight right now. It's not pretty. I got people calling or texting, not calling, excuse me, texting that I'm holding space for and we're holding space for each other across the fucking world, all corners of it, all angles of it, all angels of it. We don't need to be together. We got the telepathy. I get woke before or as a text is coming in now to be able to support with my words written down, the imprinting, the re-imprint Right? So it doesn't really matter what we're going through in our daily life. When we know who to reach out to, there's somebody who's going to imprint you with unconditional love now. Whether it be me or someone else. Reach out. Figure out who feels good. Birds of a feather flock together. That's it. I'm going to put this on as is. Whether it makes sense or not, zero attachment. Things for sure.
that stare in the eye, the unflinching knowing that this is it. The tipping point, the climax. Do what you're meant to do. Have faith in yourself. And let those, everybody else, let everybody do what they need to do. The grappling and the hanging on to the past. Why? It's not serving you anyways, is it? Because if it was serving you, you'd have that feeling, be able to look straight in the eye. Those with the fire in their eyes. Those with their hearts upon their sleeves. Reach out if you need it. You know who you want to reach out to, do it. Or don't. It's your choice. <laughs> Loves you guys. Happy Thor's Day. If you watched all this till the end, uh, the convoy is passing through Gateway to the North, North Bay, Ontario, tomorrow. I don't know what time. I'm going to be checking reports tonight to see where exactly everybody is so I can get the most coverage that I can. I waited my whole life for this. The convoy movies I watched as a kid. I've waited my whole life for this. I tried to start this in 2007. I saw the visions of it. I saw it all. That's the thing, eh? Those of us with the sight, holy fuck. It's beautiful how somebody comes to us when they want a card reading or they want this. But guess what? Even when we're not reading cards, we still know. We still see your soul. We don't actually need the cards. You're the one that needs the cards. Right? I don't know if that makes sense, but if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean, my jelly beans. And if you don't, well, if you watch this all the way through, at some point the seed is planted and you'll get it. Or you won't. Right? 